Hi everybody, it's Sam here, thank you for watching. So a few bits and pieces over the last couple of weeks, so I'll start sharing them. First of all, I always get sent the magazines that I feature in, so I'll share those ones with you. So this is the latest Sentimentally Yours box magazine. This is number four, and it's the first time I've made it onto the cover of a kit. This is my card. I was, again, you never know it's gonna happen. So when you when you just receive them through the door, it's like, oh, that's really nice. So yeah, I done that card. So it was a lovely kit to work with. So it's got a kind of, I guess a New Year's theme to it, but you can use these, you know, for many other things. So this is the lovely A4 stamp set that you receive. Hopefully the glare's not on there, there we go. And, um, you know, things like the numbers and all of these you can use obviously for birthdays throughout. But you do have this beautiful, this is all one stamp here, but these will like sit around it and then all of these you can work around it. And I'll, I'll give you a glimpse of the card that I done using a lot of those. You got these beautiful dandelions here, more fireworks. So it's, it was really nice to have because I don't have a lot of fireworks. If Well, I've probably maybe got a handful of firework stamps and I remember using them on a scrapbook layout once. So it's quite nice to have this you know because the fireworks you can use for birthdays as well you know if it's a special birthday or a wedding you know the fireworks are great to use on those kind of cards as well so you've got it's your birthday you've got the clock there time and then uh, you've got time two which is separate and then you've got celebrate congratulations on your anniversary so they've separated a lot of the stamps so you can make up your own sentiments so yeah it's a really really fun one i did enjoy these um projects that i've done so you also get i forgot you get this set here, I'll just show you, you get another large stamp, this one's beautiful. I'll use a bit of scrap paper there so you can see, so that's one big stamp. So I think I heat embossed that one on one of my samples in silver and you've just got all those different scent, um, words even. Pop, fizz, dance, celebrate, celebration. It's a really great one again to use for many you know, occasions really. So you get that, so it's two, two stamps. You get this embossing folder with the firework and space here to be able to pop a sentiment in there as well if you wanted to and then you get the dies here and they will cut this design here and then you've got the sparkling which is there as well so you get that and that and then the papers are in the magazine and they're all of these ones here and there's a nice mix of like masculine you know the darker colours as well, um, not that they're always on masculine cards because I like dark colours on cards but can you see, look at that, all the firework, they're beautiful, really nice but you can imagine that on a wedding card, I think that would look lovely you can see them there, that one again is really nice so if you do like to send the odd New Year's card then perfect but things like this, they're very much my kind of style for birthday cards, I think that's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful so yeah you get a nice amount in there and then you've got all the magazine with the inspiration so i'm not going to show everything because it's always nice for people to have that as a surprise but i know what page mine's on so i'll just show you those ones and um I'll just give you some more ideas so that i've done a bridge fold card with and i heat embossed so i, I kind of inked the background first and then i went over it with the silver embossing powder with the happy birthday and then i just layered up all of the firework dies and then I use these little ones here and then I put 2021 along the bottom with the clock face there as well slowly approaching midnight really really fun card but you know take out the happy new year and you could put happy birthday in there and you could have the number the, you know the age sorry or you could have happy birthday there and then a big number in the middle so you've got that one then I done the triple box card I just thought it was a good way to show the papers and um, I've done a nice New Year's card there, time to celebrate. Then this is the cover card. So again, a clock face. But you could have time to celebrate, but you can also have happy birthday. And then I, you know, they didn't ask me to do the sympathy card. They just wanted different shape cards. But when I saw the dandelions and all the, I'm not sure what they're called when all the bits come off. Because I remember you used to blow them when we were children. But to me, it just had a, a with sympathy, it just had that kind of feel about it. So... Um, yeah, that's that's what I turned it into, and I, I think it's turned out really nice. They're the papers that you can get, and um, that was just you know quite a, a straightforward, quite a simple fold really. It's just a few um, score lines, but it's got quite an impact. So I, yeah, I, I like that one. And then here's the this large one, and I've done it as a, an easel card. So this is all embossed with silver powder, and then again I've done the little kind of I guess they're like more of a 
a work sparkler. But anyway, I've got them all coming out the top. I'll just use the papers. You even get these tiny little stars, which I took from the dies. I think that was all of them. Yeah, five. And then you go on to Trudy Howard. She's the illustrator for Simply, for Sentimentally Yours. So there's some nice cards there as well. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show you there. But you can see you've got box cards. You've got all different you know, styles, you've got 3D makes there as well, competitions, interview with Phil, and then it always talks about his latest release as well. So that's everything in the, what number did I say that was? That's number four of the Sentimentally Yours magazine kit. Then I have the latest Simply Cards and Papercraft, although I think now by the time this is gone out, I think there'll be a newer one again. So let me just take this one out again. I enjoy doing the samples or some of the samples for this one. So you get all your bits and pieces there. For this is the free gift. So you get this stamp set here with all these little buildings. This is a paper discovery freebie, okay? And then you have this embossing folder, but it's an emboss and cut. So it will cut this bit, and then you'll have all this embossed and all the snowflake, well, yeah, the snow flurries there. And you can create cards like this. So can you see where that's cut beautifully? And it's been, I imagine that's stuck with a bit of foam to create that background. And then you can build up you're seeing there. So you can do new home cards, you can do Christmas cards with like the Christmas village and things like that. So it's really nice. This one on the front here is a box one and that will be inside. You'll be able to see how to make that. I like that. I like the diorama style. And then this one's mine. <laughs> Again, really fun. I made my slider card. So they're my slider dies, but I turned the front into a shaker card and I put the little polystyrene balls inside. I think you see the little house there. Really cute, I like that one. So again, I'm not gonna show everything. I only really ever show my makes. So my brief was to do kinetic cards. So I, again, I love anything with movement. So I've done my slider one. So they've got it closed there, but that pulls and then it, it reveals a, a message underneath there. This one I love doing, so it's a circle spinner card. And then you've got the new home that is mirrored to the same house as on the, the you know, the reverse. So when it f spins around, if you do it fast enough, you see the image kind of constantly. It's a bit of like an optical illusion kind of thing. But I've done that one. And then I this one's my wiper card. So actually when that pulls open, the sentiment, I think, I believe, it'd be inside. You'll see it in a minute. I can't remember. And then this one here is a pop-up card. So you've probably seen me do similar on my channel. This piece all pops out here and I created that really lovely little scene. I've done a shutter card and you can see when the shutter opens it reveals that cottage and that one says have a wonderful day and I show you how to make that size. So that's a different size that I've done there as well. And then here's the white box. What did I have popping out again? From our home to yours on the speech bubble that pops out the top there and it tells you that that's what it does and then it shows you again there when you pull the slider it says wishing walking in a winter wonderland and there's a close-up there of that one so this is just you know some inspiration if you want to do those kind of kinetic style makes how those stamps and the embossing folder will work there's a close-up of the spinner again really really cute then I've done this one here this panel card so when it opens up this is kind of like a Z fold Oh no, it's not, sorry, it's a W fold. W fold, you can see there. So I had to do like, they always like you to do some simpler makes and then more complex ones. So the complex one was the shutter card, so you get the step-by-step -step instructions, and then something like this is a bit more straightforward. And again there, there's that pop-up card. Um, and then I think that was it, did I do seven? I think it was seven in total that I had to do, yeah. And then it goes on to some cool mixed media kind of projects. So that is the issue 211. And then this one here is the Tonic Studios, and this is volume 13. It feels ages ago that I've done these, because sometimes we get the briefs and then they're not out for four months. So this, I think, was one of them. I think I've done this quite a long time ago now, and you kind of forget, really, what you've done. So in this kit here, it always tells you on the back, you have 68-page Ideas magazine. 14 piece all occasion wreath die set, which is this one here. Versatile six in one stencil, this one here. 13 coordinating fo focal sentiment and image stamps, sorry. 198 element all occasion papers and toppers. Okay, and again, that's just some of the inspiration on. So this is the free gift. Let me just get into this one. So if you like your tonic studio stuff, or maybe I always say the kits are good if you're just starting off, because it's a nice way to build your stash. So this one here you get, 
again I'll just pop it behind here this is the stamp set it's mainly sentiments on this one so you can see all the ones that you get there and then this is the die set so this is a separate die so you've got your outer frame then you have your detail and then you have your inner frame so you can really create some nice effects and you've also got love there with and then that says just for you and then you've got Again, it's, it's Christmas feel, I guess, because of the wreath and you've got the holly leaves and the snowflake. But you take out the Christmas bits. This wreath can certainly be made to look like a summer wreath because you have the flowers here that you can then pop on there. And you'll see that with some of the, the samples that i done. And then this is, is a nice big stencil. I used the this one here. No, sorry, I used the snowflake one. This is the one that I used to make a, a wreath. It's really nice, actually. So it's a great size um stencil and then here is the magazine again bump on the kit you know the ones that come in the box kits are always nice thick magazines so these are the papers it's like the polka dots you know they're all year round and then you've got your snowflakes but perfect for winter you know even january february if you're doing any birthday cards they're always nice and then you've got these ones here with the flowers and then the snowflakes and you've got all these strips so you can create some nice effects on your cards you can die cut these, you can fussy cut them, or you can use a punch to cut them out, along with the sentiments there as well. And it just doubles, you get two of everything. And then it goes on to all of the inspiration. And then my ones here, so you've got all your regulars, all your tonic design team, they're always in here with all the makes. And then I got to do these ones here. So they wanted me to do some gift ideas. So I done this wreath here using an embroidery hoop, and I heat embossed using white embossing powder using that stencil and I went all the way around and then I made a little rosette, I die cut all the little snowflakes, picked a sentiment, fussy cut some flowers and I just finished it with some of the pearl bead trim there and a bow but what a nice you know you could give that as a even like a little housewarming gift, a nice little present for a friend for Christmas or make it for yourself. I think it's really really sweet and then I also done a notebook so I covered a notebook here so it's just a nice thing to keep on your desk. Again, give to a friend or maybe a work colleague. And then I've done these coasters here. Um, I've done four, tied them with a nice little tag there. And it says, here's to new beginnings. So I, the idea was that you'd give that for someone as a little moving in gift. And I tell you what to do, how to prime them as well, coat them so they're you know going to be safe to use with your drinks and your liquids. And then I've done a gift bag. So you can see that wreath. It's a good one there to see what that wreath looks like. And I've put the flowers on there. So it's not Christmassy at all, just a nice little gift bag. And then I've done this little gift basket. You can see I've used all the winter snowflakes there and the papers. And then they filled it with some sweets. And I think that was it. Again, tons and tons of stuff. So that's the three magazines. And then I was contacted by Crafters Companion. They very kindly asked if I'd like to try the Tri-Blend brush pens. And actually the day I received the email was during when I was doing a Facebook Live and I was actually talking about wanting to try a brush nib because all of my alcohol markers are a bullet tip. And um, lots of people say, you know, there's a, you really notice a difference with the brush nibs. Um, there's more control. You can get right into the details a bit better. The blends are better. So yeah, when they asked if I'd like to try them, I jumped at the chance. So I've got these three here. There are another five or six to form the whole collection. But if you're unfamiliar with the alcohol markers or in particularly the tri blends they have three of the nibs in one pen so you have your light tone your mid tone and your dark tone and they've already worked out the blend for you so those three will work really nice together and give you a really you know good blend so also it's great if you don't have a lot of space so you you know here i've got nine markers basically just you know in in that little bundle just great yeah if you have just maybe you keep all your things in a little caddy or something and also if you're someone that maybe is a bit unsure about what colors would work together having them already done for you is is really useful so yeah i'm going to look forward to using these more i did use them briefly during another facebook live and it was coloring in the snowman for the bridge fold the acetate bridge fold card that i done and um just using them just briefly you know making that card up i thought they were really nice definitely different to use much lighter as well i don't find you get such a i don't know hard to explain but anyway I really really like them so far first impressions are really good the reviews for them are very good anyway and you they're made by Spectra Noir so you you know you're already onto a good a good thing there but thank you um crafters companion and um I'm looking forward to using these a bit more and perfecting my colouring using alcohol markers <laughs> 
Then um, Craft Stash are starting to send the design team the, they're calling this their kind of essentials and they're starting to do their own product. So this is all Craft Stash branded and you've got an, I've got you know an adhesive eraser here and I've got this pack of blending sponges. Price points are really reasonable within the essentials collection so have a look check it out because if you again you're starting off or you just want to try some other things and you know replace things that you might have already had then head over to their essentials section the adhesive erasers are like you have to have them in your stash if you're a crafter because they're fantastic to use and they're those kind of things that they, they get quite clogged up i always just cut mine off and they will last a long long time and i actually picked one up not too long ago at a charity shop that was brand new so i've got enough now to probably last me literally for the rest of my life Life. they last that long so um, really really useful to have and then the blending sponges these are nice to use I prefer these to the round sponges with the applicator or the square ones I th you get a nice blend with these and along with the brushes they're, the, they're kind of my two the things that I would use these are nice to use with light stencils as well just to get quite a full cover so yeah you get loads in there as well I think they call them little buds as well so but yeah, if you are if you're not aware of this section, then check it out. They used to have they have had their own label before. This is the old label or their old um, branding, and um, I'll show you this stuff in a minute because it was all the pound stuff that I got. Yeah, so I was sent those, and then I picked up. So basically, I needed to get those stamps, just the two and the five for my advent. So I found this online store called Laney's Crafts, I think it was. So I just filled up my basket with a couple of other bits, and I really liked this one. It's a stonework mask by For the Love of Mask by Hunky Dory. Just thought it was a really unusual and effective, you know, background, especially just for adding depth to your cards. If it's more of a masculine make, you know, I can imagine like a tool kit, um, a garden, you know, scene, all that kind of stuff on front on the front for like Father's Day cards and things. So yeah, it's the first of their masks I've ever had actually. I don't have any by Hunky Dory. I've got lots of their stamps, but not um, their masks. And then I also picked up this, I love mini pom-pom trim anyway, and this is a red one. And um, yeah, just thought I'd fill up my basket with something so it wasn't just those stickers that I was ordering. And then I managed to grab some really good bargains from the Craft Stash Pound. It was the secret pound sale that they had. And I did share the link and you basically you had to sign into your Craft World account or register. And then you were given a code to access the secret sale. And it was everything that was there was shown at full price. But when you went to check out, you entered your code and it reduced everything down. And I got £130 worth for 2021 20, or £22. And now I've got some of it. I wished I kind of got a bit more. For example, these ribbons. So these are the card making magic ribbon. I don't know how much is on there, but there's loads. But I didn't realise it was so thick. And I wished I got, a, I would have got maybe two or three of these for a pound. Because this is beautiful ribbon. I know I use it in the springtime for like Easter projects and stuff. So yeah, for a pound, for the amount on there, I thought that was really good. And then the other one was this one in that beautiful turquoise colour. And this lovely white. So I wish I'd got, like I said, two more of those. And then I got these packs here. These were a pound each. They're just 002, 004, 005. I don't know if the stuff's still available. I know a lot of it's sold out. So if I can still find the link then you know go over and have a look but you would again like I said if you're not on craft world you'd need to register which is free and um, and then you can see if there's anything left but just stocked up on some ribbons at those prices I just thought it was brilliant and there's loads on those spools so um, yeah so I picked up those and then I picked up these flowers I have a few in this color but only like a couple so it was nice to get a few more again card making magic and they were light green paper flowers and then I also got some apple blossom um, this was all a pound I did get more but I can't show you that because that's actually a gift so I've made a really nice package up um, but I got these two here I just I like these for more for creating a background um, just heat embossed I just think they're going to look really pretty so this one here is your floral mandala and this is your heart mandala um, yeah really pretty I'll bring them up a bit closer Let's see, there we go, you can see all the hearts. It's a lovely, I'll probably actually put this in. I've got a category within my stamps, which is love. Um, so I'll probably pop that one in there because then it would be one that I'll probably use for like Valentine's. And then there's that one there. And I'll put this in with my flowers. 
so you get thank you hello happy birthday but again for a pound really really good and these are photopolymer they're really good quality stamps as well thinking of you happy birthday and with love and then the stencil really nice i put a little hole punch in the top and then i've got all my stencils on a binder ring and this is the heart mandala stencil so you know that will work really nice together for a valentine's project and this with you know some of your mediums your embossing paste and mousse and things like that would look lovely yeah so i've got those and then i've got this one here pretty quick and it's the weather sentiment stamps this, this one i thought for a pound i'm going to grab it and it's got sorry you're feeling under the weather you are my and then you've got love i'm here for you you're a ray of and then you can have sunshine it's right there in front of me shine bright you color my world wishing you brighter days be a rainbow in someone else's cloud hello sunshine and actually i've got a nice stamp set which is from creative stamping and it's got the little girl with the umbrella and the rainbow and this would probably work quite nice with that they do have kind of maybe similar sentiments on there but it's nice to have a few more again for a pound i was like a magpie i thought i've got to have it <laughs> and then i picked up these bits because i already have the dies which i am now i was going to do them for christmas cards but i'm literally done i have um, 42 Christmas cards already to well I've actually started writing them out already and they're all ready to go I don't need to make any more Christmas cards now I'm done so I am going to use my Wallace and Gromit dies and make some really nice fun all you know birthday kind of cards really I guess for the new year so I picked up these bits so they were a pound so I got the dog, dog bone and then this is the fish six by six gonna look lovely when you ink them up I just love the packaging Wigan 26th of the 11th 2010 Great Britain so and then on the back here it's got London 13th of the 5th 09 just funny I just I, I love Wallace and Gromit it's something I watched as a you know when I was a lot younger and then I picked up the stamp set and I can't believe how big it is it's lovely really really nice got that lovely big time for tea which you can use for all kinds of things you know you can, I've got some lovely teacups and tea bags in you know stamps so this would be a nice sentiment for that big cheese one there so again you could use that I'd do a jokey card for someone who you know if you've got someone who's a cheese addict and you've got a grommet 100% genuine I love the happy birthday one there that's going to be lovely heat embossed because all the black is all solid so that would look really nice and then you've got old chum again how nice is that just to send you know um to do one like a, a vintage style card that would go lovely with my Spitfire and the um, the best of British stamp set that I got by Creative Stamping. You've got another one there, happy birthday, and then cracking job again. So that's great for somebody who's got a new job, you know, you can pop that on there. And then this one says silly old pooch, so you could put that onto any other cards. I've got that lovely again, Creative Stamping, I've got the animals uh, stamp set so yeah i just thought it was really really nice a pound you can't go wrong and it's it almost completes my collection i'll quickly show you these are the dies so these are what i picked up and showed and i i haven't got around to using them yet because they're obviously they're not really christmasy but i was going to make them christmasy and then i had too many christmas cards so i just don't need any more now so i'm going to save these these are going to be something for me to start working with in the new year and I can't wait, I'm going to do some really fun cards with them and now I've got, it's nice to have the embossing folders and the stamps so I can really build the scenes and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to them I think these ones are still actually on the website but I got these when they went down, they had, they had like an offer on and I didn't pay much for them at all I paid very little for these, I got a real bargain so they are back up to their normal price I think but again, if you're interested I will link them below and then I also just forgot this was on the floor I picked this up, now I'd seen this on Hachanda ages ago and we were talking during a Facebook Live about it's not like, I don't, I wouldn't say I struggle getting my dies to cut because they always cut but it's them then actually releasing from the die sometimes they can get stuck in there and there's there are a few different things on the market now when you feel this it feels like that oven filter <laughs> i'm sure it's not it does feel a little bit different it isn't just that it's actually a lot more um i guess tougher and what they do is they i don't know if they use both at the same time or is it two first activate your pads Take each pad separately and run through your machine between your cutting pads without card or dies. I think that's, that should say plates, maybe? That makes more sense. First, activate your pads. Take each pad separately and run through your machine between your cutting plates. I would have thought that should say that, without any card or dies. Your easy shim, and oh, sorry, I should have said that's what these are, easy shims. 
your Easy Shim will now self mould to be compatible with your machine. Continue to use your pads either together or singly as your particular dies demand. To use your shim, place die on cardstock, then place the shim over the top of your die and add your top plate creating your sandwich and run through your machine as normal. I'm always putting extra shim sometimes or copy paper in my die machine. Um, so now I'm going to use this. So yeah, it's a bit of a, an odd one. <laughs> so yeah, so that's those. So it's by Scarlet Rose Crafts. Never had anything from them before, but I do remember seeing it. It was either Creative Craft or Hachanda. I think it was Hachanda. Anyway, <laughs> so that is, I think, everything. Okay, so I will try and link as much as possible. Some of it may well have sold out because I have had some of this for probably maybe three weeks, actually. But um, thanks for watching, as always. I'll be back very soon. I've got lots of really fun 3D projects to come because I've done my cards for now. So you're just going to be kind of bombarded with 3D makes, which hopefully you'll really enjoy. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.